Finance Minister Marich, Travco. It is a wonderful privilege to be here with you uh, here in Zagreb and to have an opportunity to recognise the work that is underway by uh, Minister Marich, by uh, your government in relation to managing the economy of Croatia and the really important and progress and positive progress that you are making as you take steps to join the Euro. Uh, this is the first non-Euro country that I've had the opportunity to visit as President of the Euro Group. However, it's not my first time to visit Croatia. I've had the opportunity to spend much time here with my family in different parts of your country. I've visited Havar, Dubrovnik, Split. I've seen at first hand the strength of the economy of Croatia and I have seen personally the kind of change and reform that your government and your people are making as they continue to grow your economy and as you continue to take the really important steps that are necessary to get ready to join the Euro. So for all of those reasons, it's great to be here today. Uh, I want to pay a very, very warm tribute uh, to uh, Zrafko for the work that he does on your behalf leading the Croatian economy and making the case for Croatia within ECOFIN. He is a deeply respected and highly effective minister within the European Union. Uh, the presentations and the uh, uh, arguments that he makes on behalf of the Croatian economy are always listened to and they are very, very effective. So that is why, again, it's great to be here, to meet him here in his home, and also to meet Prime Minister Plenkovic to discuss where we stand and discuss the progress that we're jointly committed to making as you get ready, I believe, to join the Euro. If I look at where the Croatian economy stands at the moment, again, I want to recognise the enormous progress that has been made and your accelerating recovery. Uh, I want to... Uh, Acknowledge that not only have you had to deal with the very, very great challenges of the pandemic, you've done this at a time in which your people have had to confront great human and economic loss in two earthquakes. And that is why the economic recovery and indeed the accelerating economic recovery that Minister Marich has described, again, is a really, really important achievement. But it is progress that you are making with European support. Uh, due to the work done uh, by the uh, government of Croatia, uh, you put forward a very, very strong, very, very impressive recovery and resilience plan. That is a plan uh, that has 9.9 .9 billion euro worth of European investment in the future of Croatia. And because it's an investment in the future of Croatia, it's an investment in the future of Europe. Uh, and I understand from the briefing uh, that the Minister has given me uh, that your forecasts for, for recovery are improving, your forecasts for employment are improving too, and it is our shared hope that with the execution of the recovery plan uh, funded by the European Union, that it will accelerate the recovery and further help Croatia's economy and society heal from the recent challenges. In terms of the discussion that is on the way regarding Croatia's accession to Europe, to the Euro, again, this is something that's been driven so strongly by the Prime Minister and by the Finance Minister. And uh, the efforts that you have made already in joining our efforts with regard to Banking Union and also ERM2 uh, are efforts that are recognised within Europe and are a fundamental step in your journey towards membership of the Euro. Uh, a sign for me of the kind of progress that is made is that the many different steps uh, that you need to make and that you are making to get ready to join the Euro are steps that are now recognised in your recovery and resilience plan. And uh, tomorrow morning, I really look forward to signing a memorandum of understanding uh, between the European institutions and Croatia regarding the principles regarding the test production of coins for the euro. And while these are preparatory steps, they're also important preparatory steps. And it's a sign of the tangible progress that has been made. When I'm here, I also really want to make the case for 
uh, the uh, benefits of the euro and for the role the euro will play in accelerating the development of employment and income in Croatia. Uh, if I look at what it will mean for Croatia, uh, this is a currency that will offer stability regarding the value of the currency in the future and it will offer a further way in which the Croatian economy, which like the Irish economy, is small and open, can accelerate the sale of its, um, of its exports and services and goods to the rest of Europe. But of course then by being in Europe, also encourage more and more investment and travel to Croatia. Uh, that is the experience of Ireland being in the Euro, and it will be the experience of Croatia being in the Euro too. Uh, I've seen it firsthand uh, over our years of membership of the Euro in Ireland, the benefits that that membership brings to the people of Ireland. What it means for them of ease of doing business, the ease of travel, the assistance it gives to small and medium sized companies in Ireland in developing their businesses and allowing their businesses to grow within the single market. Uh, since 1999, uh, since we joined, uh, our membership has allowed our economy to take a further step forward in the development of employment and in the development of income. And this is a journey that I believe the Croatian economy will be able to make too. It will be able to make it because of the way in which you have managed your public finances, uh, because of the way uh, they have been managed in a responsible and in a careful manner. That will set the foundation for a uh, successful entry. But then when the work is done, and when you complete the kind of steps and the process that is needed to join the European Union, at uh, the Euro I should say, this membership of the Euro then in turn will allow trade and business within Croatia to further flourish. So I believe the benefits are being broad. I really want to emphasise those benefits and then I just want to conclude by again acknowledging and recognising the commitment of your Prime Minister and Minister Zravko and the exceptional work that they are doing uh, in leading this economy forward and helping your society and your economy recover from the many challenges that we faced over the last number of years. Uh, the process that you are committed to, the process that I believe you will complete, is one that will yield real benefits for the people of Croatia and for your economy. So I just want to urge you to continue with this work and I look forward to being back again soon and continuing to work with Zrafko in all of his efforts. Thank you.